All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. Last year, I brought you this wonderful um, U-Perfect lap dock with my S24 Ultra. It is a wireless deck set up for your, for your computers and everything. And obviously it can fold around like this. This is a hit. So U-Perfect is back. And here's my S24 Ultra. And inside of this box is the new 15.6 inch. So we're gonna unbox this, take a look at it, and see how it uh, fares with the S24 Ultra setup versus the S24 Ultra. Now this was a 14 inch setup. This is a basically almost 16 inch setup. So let's see how this works out. So I've got my trusty knife here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing taken apart. Safety seal here. show you what comes in the box. This is how it is. All right. So it is neatly stored away. Like the previous generation, you get a lot of cables. Here's your HDMI cable, type C cable, to type A, type C to type C, and another type C to type C. So this is probably gonna be your power. Yep. This is your power here. And that's the reason you have two type C's. One is for the power brick. And now, Get it open here. This definitely has a little bit more weight than that 14, that's for sure. All right, let me grab some power just in case we need it. Here's the instructions here. This is how you operate the monitor. Your volume, your brightness, your contrast. Just pause and look through this if you want to, or if you're buying this, you'll have this of your own. There you go. Nice layout here. It's a different layout looks like. It looks like the keypad or trackpad or whatever is on the side there. Upscale indicator, okay, cool. All right, let's go ahead and put all that aside. Let's get the monitor out here. Yep, same great quality. This one is more of a lighter space gray and this uh, 14 inch is a darker gray. So let's see here, let's crack it open here. Decks in full effect for you guys. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, they've got this new um, pad on the side here. The trackpad is basically off to the side here. Here's a wireless charging spot now. If you look there, four says uppercase indicator is what that says. Why it says uppercase indicator, I have no idea. Pretty much a trackpad from what I can tell on the other one. You've got a micro SD card slot. Here it is, it's still a convertible, which is a good thing. And that wireless trackpad area right there is beast mode. A lot heavier though, folks. This is pretty much a 15 inch laptop, 15.6. So you got a Type-C in right there. Excuse me, uh, a mini HDMI and Type-C and Type-C. You can see the middle one is the USB-C and this is the um, PD pass-through. So basically you'll charge it on this, this one over here and this is a Type-C. Around the front here, you've got a nice little lip there to get it open. And on this side here, you have your SD card reader, your power button and a full size um, USB and then a headphone jack. And on the back here, you can see how nice the hinge is. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it some power to start this off as I fumble around here. <laughs> but before I do that, I want to show you what it looks like, what they upgraded from. So on the 14, there is no wireless charging pad. And there's also uh, the trackpad is over here. So that's that's a little different. I think that's a pretty eclectic way to look at this thing uh, for putting something like this together, put a trackpad over here. 
All right, so I went on ahead and got myself some power. I'm gonna peel off the screen protector. Woohoo! All right. And this is what you're faced with with something like this. This is a really, th these, these types of deals for people who don't wanna buy a laptop and you rely on your phone, these are ideal for you. Like literally you can take this anywhere uh, to do so. So what you wanna do is you wanna turn on, uh, you can see here for Android wireless, you go to Bluetooth, uh, you can connect keyboard, you can connect a wireless screen or whatever. So let's see if we can get, here's my S24 Ultra. And then my previous setup here is with the S23 Ultra and the 14U Perfect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go into Bluetooth and let's see if I can get this thing to fire up. I think last time I had a few, um, a few issues, but ultimately it worked itself out. So uh, you can see here, you need to be looking for Flipbook. Uh, da, 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 da. Here is touch, let's see here. Let me scan again here. So uh, connect a Bluetooth touch, Bluetooth keyboard. Bah, bah, bah. I wonder if this is what it's talking about right here. Click the wireless screen, flip book. Okay, let's, let's try this one right here. Let's go ahead and pair it. And then we'll turn on Dex. Connecting. Now let's turn on Dex. And let's see if I can connect wirelessly. There it is right there. Start. And it actually, it seems to be working perfect on the first go around. Boom, there it is. Boom, there it is. Let me adjust the screen orientation here real quick for you. All right, so as you can see here, I am connected to Dex. And there is my trackpad, it's very loose but it is a trackpad. So, I mean, there you go. You can see that it's a trackpad, it's working. So this is it, man. This is what people who, um, to lock your phone, click lock. Okay, so, all right, this is pretty cool, man. Um, I'm in awe because this is such a larger display than the previous generation over here. Uh, and this is just a quick, a quick walkthrough. I was checking to make sure it wasn't touchscreen. Some of these I've gotten in our touch screen, but here are the apps. Here's everything. Uh, wow, this is, you can go over here, you can see, you can contact them, you can lock Dex, exit Dex. Uh, so pretty cool. So let's go here, let's use the arrows and see if it works. Let's go this way, let's go to Instagram. See how things, something looks in here. Okay, cool. Cool. So this touch area right here is very responsive. So just take note of that, folks. It is extremely responsive. Should be able to adjust that in settings or whatever, but um, let's go here. Let's go to X. Open up some social media here. And this is, this is what I thought it would be. It's a wireless DeX setup. Now you can also plug in and it'll appear to be a lot faster. You can do wired DeX as well. Hooking it to Bluetooth, obviously you're gonna see some latency. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna disconnect the Bluetooth and plug directly into DeX and see how that fares. Let's see here. Okay, now that it's disconnected, I'm just gonna plug in with the type C and see if it picks up DEX right away or if I have to start DEX. And looks like it is connected and DEX is automatically firing up. So wired is gonna probably give you a better experience with, with DEX. Uh, late, no, yeah, there's no latency whatsoever. It's, it's really fast. Um, so using it, wirelessly, there's always going to be some kind of latency, but it is an option for you. So, you know, doing these same tasks, it's much faster uh, with the, with the uh, initial startup of it and just getting into things is really nice. So there it is, man. Uh, if you're a fan of DEX and you, you didn't really want to buy a laptop and you rely on your phone, this is for you. This is definitely for you, and I can highly recommend this at this point. This is the second time I've used their product. Again, the 14 over here with the S23 Ultra has been great. 
I've definitely traveled with this in the past. The 15, I guess if you could think of any disadvantages, it would be just that, and you don't need this power, by the way. I just powered it up because the battery is 100%. Let me unplug it there so you can see. I don't need that. It's still plugged up. It's not charging or anything. I just wanted to make sure just in case. So the battery is at 100%. And, and that is the purpose of these, being able to commute and take your stuff with you all by itself. So that's a huge plus. But um, the battery life on these uh, are, are very good. And uh, as I was going to speak of, uh, kind of a disadvantage to the 15 to the 14, it's just a little bit heavier. That's, that's the only thing you could possibly think of that I could think of at this very moment because the functionality and features of these, it just brings your phone to life. So if you use an editor like I do on my phones, I get it on a bigger screen. And furthermore, this is a convertible, so it can flip up into a straight up touchscreen tablet uh, or whatever. So I think this is a touchscreen. Yeah, I, I know I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So if you want to flip it open and do like a movie or something like that, you can totally do that. Uh, but nonetheless, it's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed the U Perfect 15.6. 15.6 is definitely fire. And I hope you guys enjoyed this quick overview of it. And obviously, I'll leave a link down in the description. This one costs, believe it or not, this one, this is a newer model, but it actually costs about the same as this one did last year. This one started at 389. This one starts at 409. So much bigger display, beautiful display. And you get the same functionality, a bigger battery more than likely here as well. I didn't really go into the specs on this to see how big the batteries are, but a bigger display, a bigger overall footprint, I'm pretty sure it has a bigger battery. And then also, let's put this right here. Let's see if I can get it to charge. Oh, I'm already at 100. Yeah, I'm already at 100, so it won't uh, charge. Let me see if this other phone is at 100. I keep all my phones at 100. This one's at 100 too. So a lot of times it just won't kick on, but it does have wireless charging right here on the center area right here. I almost forgot about that. Let me see if I can get it to start up without having the case on here. Because wireless charging is definitely a huge plus. If you're using it wirelessly and you just set your phone up here. Yeah, all my, I charged all the phones to 100, so I don't know if that's why it's not starting, but it definitely, uh, it's a cool feature to have, and I'll have to come back and circle around and test that again. But nonetheless, there you have it, folks. It's your man, Jay, the 15.6 inch U-Perfect Dex display, computer, laptop, whatever you want to call it. This is a huge win for students, for workers who just rely on their phone for everything. They have you covered. I'll see you in the next video. Ask any questions down below, and I'll be sure to try to get to them. Take care.